are commonplace enough that you may no longer be shocked by them. But if you live there, you stay off the subway as a result. Crime in Philadelphia is completely out of control. For example, last year, Philadelphia recorded 562 murders. That is the highest homicide total since 1960. That happens to be the year the city started tracking homicide data. This year in Philadelphia, crimes like robbery with a gun are up 47%. Now, why is this happening? It's not an accident. None of this is an accident. Crime is rising as a direct result of policies designed to make crime rise. And at the same time, any effort by normal people, middle class people to defend themselves is immediately met with the full ferocity of the state. So this is an attempt, of course, to destroy the American middle class. Let's just be honest about it. This is crime with a purpose. They don't want to have this conversation, the people who did this, and that's why they attack you personally and morally if you bring it up. So in Philadelphia, a lot of these crimes can be traced to one man, Soros-backed DA Larry Krasner. He's decided not to charge many robbers with crimes. Arrests and charges for retail theft in Philadelphia have dropped by about 70 percent over the past four years. In that same period, reports of robberies jumped more than 20 percent. You see how this works? If you stop charging people with certain crimes, they commit more of them. That seems like an obvious observation. And again, it's more evidence this is not an accident. Larry Krasner is not an idiot. None of these people are stupid. They're doing this on purpose. They're trying to destroy. Now, why are they doing that? Well, we can't guess as to motive, but they're definitely doing it. So when asked about this, how does Larry Krasner respond? Shut up, racist! Watch. We're just looking at Philly right now in a superheated election cycle where part of the Republican playbook, as you well know, is to point a finger at large, diverse cities and say large, diverse cities are lawless. What we see here is the same old playbook, which is about coded and racist messaging. It's about blaming the biggest city in Pennsylvania with the most diverse population for having the same national struggle that we have with gun violence everywhere. Oh, diversity, racism, diversity, racism. Shut up, shut up, shut up. So here you have another white liberal deputizing himself to speak for people of color against his political opponents. Have you figured out how this works? You getting tired of it yet? Voters are getting very tired of this. So tired of it that even some Democrats have started to figure out, actually, maybe voters don't want to be shot, raped, or carjacked, and then attacked morally if they don't like it. Kathy Hochul, who is in part responsible for the rising crime in New York, is now running last-ditch ads promising to fight crime. Oh, really, Kathy Hochul? But it's probably too late for her. She's losing to a Republican in New York. Pennsylvania is almost as Democratic as New York is, but the lieutenant governor now running for Senate there, John Fetterman, is 